I'm here with Brandon Victor Dixon. He oh. plays Aaron Burr yes, in sir. a little known show. It's called Hamilton. What is this Hamilton? Does it, is, is it on Broadway? He's a guy, he does some <laughs> stuff. And he, there's a really fantastic adversary he has in his show, and Hamilton really continues to try and bring down this glorious individual, and I think his name is Aaron Burr. I heard there's a really good actor playing this Aaron Burr guy. Have you heard about him? I, I mean, he's okay. uh, really good. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. He's dazzling. <laughs> Breathtaking. I've heard used multiple times. GQ's man of the year. That could be. <laughs> All right, so as we've established, this guy's pretty talented. He's on the biggest show on the planet. He does some incredible stuff on stage. So now that we're live, we wanted to have some fun with you. We just had a great interview. The guys, stay tuned. This is a little teaser. Make sure to check out the interview. We'll be sharing it soon. But one of the things that amazes me about what you guys do is rapping is so hard. And you and I were talking about freestyling is hard, but just... I want to, you know, when I watch some of the stuff you have to enunciate, like, give me a taste of what you just were giving to me in the interview. Like, take a line and, like, the, the like. Well, like, so, okay, so they, uh, so there's a line in the show, in the opening, in the opening, where we're talking about Hamilton. I say, there would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead or destitute without a cent or restitution started working. So right. you change the rhythm up. Right. right. But you could also do, there would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead or destitute without a cent or restitution. You know, you could change the rhythm of it. That's why I, I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow, that was easy for him. I would have, that would have taken me 10 years. To Mind learn. you, it's not written that way in the show, but I changed some things and I'm going to do that in like a week. <laughs> can you do that with everything? So, like, can, if I say something to you, how hard is it for you to change it into that type of, you know, patternistic movement? How hard is it for me? Difficult, because I am not a rapper. If Lynn were here, he would break this whole thing down. But I'm going to give it a whirl. You know, let's see. Give me something. Let's see what we got. I'm sitting here with Arthur, and we kicked it in a chat. Oh, see, you're doing it, right? You're doing it. You're, you're building the rap. See, like, I'm sitting here with Arthur. We're building up a chat. Hold on, I think my mic just fell. Not, uh, We're here behind the rope. What do y'all think about that? Oh, my God, you did just freestyle. Wait, I have no mic. Hold on. I did. I did. Hold on, guys. Sorry. This is... <laughs> <laughs> my mic fell. Can you guys hear me? Hopefully you can hear me. That, that's the first... We've had five of these today. It's the first time that's happened. All right, so let's try another like one. Like, I spit such hot fire, I knocked his <laughs> microphone out. You literally knocked it out of my pocket. <laughs> How long did it take you to learn to be able to do that? Is that like an instantaneous, like, Broadway training type thing? Like the, I mean, I would, I would say yes. The on-the-spot demand to do, to exercise skills you don't possess, that is Broadway training. I'm going to keep putting you on the spot now. <laughs> so we saw when Lynn was on Fallon, uh, Fallon was given three words to have to freestyle. I'm going to oh, give, give you three random words. Let's see if you can in any way put them together. Oh, you ready? God. Uh, chair, rope, <laughs> tomato. I'm sitting in this chair about to eat some tomato soup. I don't know. Maybe I'll eat alone or with a group. We're gonna get together, we're gonna have some fun. They're gonna try to get away, but we'll rope them up before they run. Hey! Hey! Yes! That was awesome! Yes! I can't believe you just did that! I can't believe I just did that! Yo, that was awesome. <laughs> I just had to bring my filly out there. That was, I was like, yo, that was awesome. That's so cool. Uh, Could you have done that before Hamilton? Uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna honor Hamilton with the with the, the, you guys the just creation got of that craft. All right, so I asked you so many questions. I don't even need this anymore. I asked you so many different questions during the interview, but and I asked you who was the coolest person, and we'll, that'll be in the interview. But that you got to meet. What's the coolest moment that I did not ask you? Coolest moment since you've been doing Hamilton that has happened to you? The coolest moment. The coolest moment is actually whenever I go, um, whenever the show's over, and I go outside to sign autographs. Because just the excitement and the energy of the people who had been waiting for over a year or in line for 24 hours or to see the show and just how satisfying. You know, when you build something up with such expectations and emotional expectations, a lot of times it can fall flat. But to see how satisfied people are at having realized being in the room where this creative dream is happening, that's, that's the most exciting part. That's awesome. You know, when these little kids and just... 
people who are inspired to be artists and who are inspired. What I love is that kids are taking in, they're taking in so much that they don't even necessarily know or understand. You know, you get these characters, but you also, you're seeing a community. You're seeing tall, short, big, small, blonde, brown, you know, black, white. Brown. You know, it's just like a collection of people telling an American story, and they find it inspiring and moving, and I love that. You're one of a kind, man. Congratulations on everything. Thanks, Bob.